Hello everybody, I'm just going to do a quick web hub thing. Specifically, this is the Otter Hub, uh, which is the one that I use. And unfortunately, how the computer is set up now, I can't show you the full process of booting it up, but it's really just booting up a little command line file that runs in the background and adding an argument to your uh, your game launch. So it's it's actually really, really simple. So... I could show you that if you need be. Um, before I do that, though, there is a quick thing that some people apparently aren't aware of, and I wanted to fix that. And that is, if you go into video settings and custom settings, you can turn opponent cockpits on. What this allows you to do in multiplayer is uh, to actually ride in the car with someone as they're driving. So, for example, if you're having a training session with a coach, you're right in there with them. You see their inputs and everything. So that's really, really handy. I really, really recommend that. Um, now I will kind of have one disclaimer here is my web hub is not set up how I normally run it. The reason is that I run an ultra wide monitor and when the videos I record on this PC go on to YouTube, uh, basically things get cut off. So I wanted to make sure everything is there for you to see so everything's a little scrunched together on what it is normally I would normally spread it a little bit out I'm doing like hand motions as if you can see me that's uh, that's just terrible anyways let's do this so I'm doing a single event at uh, Dubai Autodrome I have never raced this track so I've got the AI on super low difficulty we're not here to do a race we're just here to show you some stuff and uh, let's kick this off I am in my beloved Yakko Racing Audi R8 which is uh, definitely in my top 5 favorite liveries in the game. Their Bentley Continental HTP Motorsport blue one is probably my favorite but this one is definitely up there I also like the Mike Rockefeller the, the old Mike Rockefeller um, Audi DTM liveries uh, he doesn't use them in, anymore in real life which is a little disappointing. He's in like this white and red and black livery now which is so strange so so weird watching dtm right now so many people are like not in the liveries that they've like been in forever it's it's weird um because of course dtm is a bit different than like f1 with the liveries thing um that would be up there as well but anyways love the yakko and uh we'll go through um we'll go through the functionality of the uh of the hub and uh, show you what we got there are different hubs things and see what you like Let's see who are we up against today? Anyone good? Uh, oh, Team Glock. Team Glock's good. Yelmer Berman is in the field, so Yelmer Berman's a really good driver as well. I'm really not sure if the AI actually cares who the driver is. To be honest, Adrian Quave Hobbs is a good driver. Lawrence Van Thorne is a really good driver. Uh, Frederick, I can never say his name right. Macwicky is really good. Uh, that Foster might be really good. There is a really good, but I think it's Nick Foster, and that's an R Foster. So, anyways, I'm not sure if it even matters. Um, the game might just ignore who the drivers are, but it's always nice to see them. So, all right. So here is the hub. Although, there we go. I was going to say the inputs seem to be not working properly. Again, much more squished than I normally run it. So, uh, you know, f figure it out for you. Figure out what works for you. But up here we have some information about laps, where, what's my position, what's my lap time. You'll see a lap completed versus estimated lap there. Uh, time session up here. You'll get a turn name here. Uh, the position bar here, kind of who's around you here. It's Rob Foster. And then your gear, your inputs here. So like for example, full gas, full brake, full clutch, and then the wheel turning. Uh, we have our fuel numbers here, so we have our fuel remaining, how many laps the game estimates I'm going to be able to complete, uh, what was our last lap versus our average lap, uh, how much fuel do we need to get to the end, how much fuel do we should we add, so this helps with like pit stop strategies, you have tire data here, so very very cold right now, I have changed it over to kilopascals because the game does kilopascals in the car setup, so that's always a little bit of a problem. And then there's a fuel gauge here of how much fuel you're using per lap, how much fuel you have left, and just kind of like a gauge there. Hopefully everything is visible here. 
And there's also a radar, which you saw when cars were going past, which I'll point out in a sec. If you click on a gear over here, you can bring up, like, you can see there's a lot of, like, customizability here. You can do some things. Um, yeah. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything I'm totally missing. Uh, I don't think so. So I think we're all good to go. I just recently changed to the new Otter Hub, so there might be some weird things going on here that I want and don't have. But hopefully, I can I can show show you what everything I want to talk about. Hopefully, I can catch up to a car because I am very behind. Oh, hang on. Protect it's clear. Push. Thorns, man. Thorns is coming up. Come on. Where are you? Where are you? Your brakes are cold. Take it easy. See on the Come on, come on, three seconds, two and a half seconds. There he is. I finally see him on the uh, on the gap here. So when he comes up to me, you're going to see a radar thing pop up up here, which is going to show where he is relative to me, and this helps avoid accidents. And do not take this as any way of how to run this track. I don't know. I don't know. There we are. So you see he went fast. Oh, he's leaving the road. Porsche driver. Interesting. I always thought Ben. Isn't Van Thorn an Audi driver? Anyways, two so minutes to go. Two pop minutes. Up there. You also see, can hear my crew chief in the background. I run both of them. I run the female spotter who's not saying anything. Which is interesting. So what my crew chief settings are. But uh, I'm messed up, perhaps. So she get right back. You know, clear right, clear left. Okay. Let's get that side here. On your left. There we go. Clear left. And you can hear the little beep of the car being in the way, and that actually uh, will uh, match up to where the car is if you have a, um, a surround sound headset or, or speaker set. So there's that. So you can see that my tires are still very cold, but they, they even segment it. You can see how I have an inside, a middle, and an outside tire tent. So this tells us even more about what's going on there. And if you need any help getting this to work, uh, you can ask me, or you can kind of Google like web hubs and race room and get the an idea. Because there's there's different ones. There's there is very much different ones that work. And it's a pretty easy process. You just run a command line um, program in the background, and you put a starter, uh, you put a startup argument on your race room, and voila, your web hub. So yeah. That's last. New fastest lap for Van Thor, 212.28. The, the, uh, I'm not going to get a lap in here. I'll just again show you the radar. So come on, come on, Van Thor. Let me a hand here. You can flash your headlights at me all you want. You just go for it. Car left, clear there we left. Go. So there you can see what I mean. It helps out figuring out where people are in relation to your car. It gives you more information to plan. Check a flex out. P12. Strategies. Um, honestly, after racing with this, I think we really, I really wouldn't even want to on your left. do it without it. Clear left. On your I right. I myself missing some of this information. Clear I'm right. So, anyways, I hope this helped out, you know, a couple of people. Let's go on this side here. Clear left. There. Um, yeah. So that's the web HUD and... Like I said, you can move it around to your own heart's content and, and change it up. Uh, what I have there isn't even what I run. Everything's like squished together to make sure it's on the screen. Um, so even, even that wasn't terribly accurate that way. Um, but yeah, this gives you all kinds of ideas and it also allows you to view what other people are doing even because you can see their inputs and stuff when you're riding along with them if you enable that opponent cockpit I was talking about. So hopefully this helped out. And uh, like I said, if you're not using the web hub, I do recommend it. It's a really useful tool um, that I recommend.